Crikey! It's, it's Biz Tips! Hello everyone, this is Biz Tips and my name is Brayden. I'm going to be teaching you today how to create some text you can use as your company logo. So, let's just get into it. I'm going to open my internet browser. And I'm going to go to Pixlr.com. That is P-I-X-L-R.com. Okay. Pixlr is completely free, so all you have to do is click on the editor. Once you've clicked on the editor, this box is going to come up. You're going to want to click create a new image. Change the name to whatever you would like. And keep this on the normal. Do not change this. Okay. Now we're in Pixlr. I'm going to run a couple things by you guys. This is the layers box. You can switch between layers and edit whatever you would like. Right now we only have a background layer, so we're going to fix that. We're going to go over to our text tool. We're going to click anywhere on this white box. When you click, you're going to see this box come up. Say text. And I'm going to tape in my example company name that I'm going to make my logo. So that's Joe's Construction. Okay. So I wrote it out. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change it to a font that I prefer. So I'm going to scroll down the list. And once I find my fonts, I'm going to select it. My font is a Lily UPC. And I'm going to change the size. So you can do this by clicking on the little size arrow and dragging the bar up or to the side and then back to down. Okay, so you can change the size. I'm going to move it somewhere around the middle. Okay, so now since we have that, I'm going to change my style to italic. I'm going to change my color to a darker green. Somewhere around there. If you would like to use this color, I will put the hex code down below. Okay, so, we have our base. We're going to be editing this from now on. So you want to go over to your move tool, since we're done with the text. And before we do anything else, if you're happy with your text, you're going to want to go over to layers, right click on your text layer, and rasterize layer. What this is going to do is it's going to make your layer completely editable. Okay, now you want to right click your text layer again and go to layer styles. Now, I am going to add a drop shadow. And as you can see, uh, you can change the opacity of anything in here. So if you want to make your drop shadow lighter, you can drag the opacity bar down. If you want to make it brighter, you can drag it up. I'm going to leave mine about at the regular, 75. And you can change the distance too. So you can pretty much make the drop shadow down or up. It's really up to you. But again, I'm going to leave mine at the normal because that's just my preference. You can change the size also. Okay, so when you're happy with your drop shadow, we're going to go over here to outer glow. What this is going to do is it's going to give your text a pretty nice effect. I'm going to click on color, and I'm going to change it to a red. Like, a, like before, this is just my preference. You can pick whatever color you want. Okay, so I've selected my red, and as you can see, it's starting to look pretty nice. So after you have changed the size of your text, there's only one more thing we're going to do. This is going to be under adding a underline to your text. Now, if you don't want to add an underline, you can pretty much skip this part so, um, we're going to make a new layer, so how we do that is we go over to the layer box. We click New Layer. It's this little thing down here. It's hard to see sometimes. And when you click that, you're going to see this come up. It's going to be a new layer in your layers box. Now, like I said in the beginning, you can click around the layers and change whatever you would like. So, we're going to go over to the Shape tool and make sure that you have that new layer selected. When you click your drawing tool, you're going to see that if I hold the left click and drag over, you're going to see I'm making a box. And when I make this box, it's going to look like an underline. 
to, to move the underline that you just made, you can hit the move tool, have your layer selected, and you can move it up and down. I would suggest before going any thirder, further, rasterizing this layer. It may already be rasterized. Okay, now we're going to add color to this. Now, you can leave it black or whatever you like, but I'm going to go back to my layer, hit, hit, hit layer styles, I'm going to hit drop shadow, and I'm also going to hit outer glow. So if you want to give your box a whole other look than your text, this is what I would suggest doing. Just adding another drop shadow and more outer glow, or you can mess around with the settings in here. But if you would not like to do that, I'll show you a simpler way. What you can do is you can simply go over to your text layer, right click it, and go to copy layer style. Then you want to go back to the layer on your box you just made and then you want to click paste layer style okay you just paste your layer style now what you need to do is you need to go to your paint bucket tool then you need to change the color of it once you change the color of your paint bucket click on a part of the text that is the same color as you would like the box there we go that seems about right okay now you want to make sure that you click on the bar there you go, you just change the color of your underline. Now if your underline is a little too big like mine is, you can use the previous steps. You can hit Control T, and you can move the box. You can make it thinner, you can make it bigger, it's totally up to you, but I'm going to make mine a little bit more thin, and I'm going to move it directly under Joe's construction. Then you can just hit on the Move tool again, Yes, I want to apply these. And there you go. There's your logo. And now we have to save it. So when you want to save it, you're going to go over to File, go down to Save. Or you can hit Control S. You want to make sure that you have your name. You want to type in your name there. And for the format, since it's a logo, you want to change it to a PNG. When you change it to the PNG, you're ready to hit OK. Now you want to save it to your destination you would like. So I'm going to save mine to my desktop and I'm going to name it Joe. Yes. Okay, I hit save. And now you have successfully saved your brand new logo. And if you go onto your desktop, you'll see that your logo is in a PNG. And there you go. There is your business logo. If you'd like to see how to resize your logo, please go back to our previous video. You'll see a link right around here. Click that box to see how to resize a logo. Thank you guys for watching. This was Braden, and we'll see you next time on Biz Tips.